Hi, Robert Curry, Innovative Air Solutions again. We're content continuing our discussion this morning on uh, duct and system design. We're move moving into the design uh, of an HVAC system and actually how it's all put together. The pieces begin to fall into place as we uh, look back at some of the other videos that we've done talking about this home, uh, sizing rooms, um, knowing some pertinent data in the home. Uh, some of this information uh, uh, can be found just by looking around. You, uh, for a good air conditioning uh, service person, uh, you need to be able to almost be part building contractor in order to understand the, the, the finishes you have in home and how they affect heat transfer. Uh, as an example, brick will transfer heat slower than 3 8 plywood. Uh, uh, so we, we need to get some values from that. Uh, these are numbers that I don't readily know off the top of my head. We have computer programs that, that aid us in uh, doing this now, getting the heat loads set and set right. So we'll give you an example now of what an actual heat load looks like of an actual home that we did uh, last week. I actually went out and looked at the home, took a scale drawing of the home. Uh, the complaint we have from our customer is we have hot and cold spots in the house. So this is kind of how we are able to, to figure out what's going on in the home and then how, how we might be able to identify the things that we can do to correct the problem. Um, this example of a home, things we have identified on here, of course I have my homeowner's name. Uh, I've identified north on my map because I need to find out where east is, uh, south, west. I need to know which direction my son's coming around in. Uh, in the drawing that I use, I use a, this is actually a scale drawing of this home. We go in with using laser tape measures. Uh, uh, they're very, very accurate. Uh, every block in here is a 10 by 10 square foot. There are blocks inside of here. Every block inside this little block, the little bitty blocks are one square foot. So I actually have a scale drawing of this home. I know where my doorway openings are. Uh, on the outside, I have all of my window sizes. Uh, in this particular house, everything in the house was double pane windows. Uh, so these, these are some things I know by memory. I also have doorway openings from room to room, uh, which don't really affect a whole lot of the heat load. But if we're going to go ahead and do a scale drawing, let's just go ahead and get it as accurate as we can and get it right. Uh, our ceiling heights throughout this home were nine foot. Uh, inside of each room, I have noted the size of the, the duct opening, uh, as an example, a 14 by six grill, uh, 10 by six, eight by four, whatever this grill size is, I've notated it on there because I know I have certain values that I'll be able, of air, I'll actually be able to move through this size grill. Um, this house had a really nice looking duct system. Um, however, very inefficient, very ineffective. Uh, so we're, as we're running the heat loads on this home, we'll be able to determine exactly what size air conditioning system we need but more importantly, the heat load, uh, in order to get us to the tonnage, will tell us at design conditions how much air we need to put in each room of this home to heat it or cool it properly. Things that are taken into account. How many people are in a room? Our bodies produce heat. What type of activity will we be, we, will we be doing in this room? Uh, if, we're, if we're at a dining room, typically we'll be sitting down having dinner. If we're in a home gym, uh, we'll be working out, we'll be sweating, we'll be producing more heat. Those type of things are taken into account. Again, utility rooms, uh, kitchens, uh, whether we be commercial equipment, all these things are taken into account. Lighting, uh, some of the old incandescent lighting uh, will produce heat. So we need to understand that, that we need to deal with all of that heat inside a building envelope. Robert Curry, Innovative Air Solutions. Have a great day.